Given the zeros of a polynomial and a point on its graph, find the polynomial function. You may leave the polynomial in factored form. Sketch each graph. In part a, p of x has zeros of negative 4, 0, 0, and 1. The graph passes through the point negative 1, negative 3. We can set up the polynomial template p of x equals a times x squared times x plus 4 times x minus 1. a is the leading coefficient of the polynomial. There is no way of knowing a polynomial's leading coefficient if all we have is the zeros. We need to acknowledge we don't know the leading coefficient by using a as a placeholder. A point on the graph is negative 1, negative 3. Plug in negative 1 for x and negative 3 for p of x. Simplify. Simplify further. Divide both sides by negative 6 and reduce to get 1 over 2. The equation of the polynomial is p of x equals 1 over 2 times x squared times x plus 4 times x minus 1. Finally, sketch the graph of p of x using a graphing calculator. Now we'll move on to part b. p of x is zeros of negative 1, negative 1, and 2. The graph passes through the point 1, negative 8. Set up the polynomial template p of x equals a times x plus 1 squared times x minus 2. We know the point 1, negative 8 exists on the graph. Plug in 1 for x and negative 8 for p of x. Simplify. Simplify further. Divide both sides by negative 4 to get 2. The polynomial is p of x equals 2 times x plus 1 squared times x minus 2. Finally, sketch the graph of p of x using a graphing calculator.